welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to find a single result in force of a general system of coplanar forces. Here in this figure, you see a system of non-concurrent coplanar forces acting on a rigid body. As you already know, this system of forces can be reduced to a force coupled system acting at any specified point. In the case of coplanar force system, all the forces acting on the body are in a single plane and therefore, their resultant would also be in the same plane. Also, the moment of all these forces about any point in the plane would be in a direction normal to the plane. So, in the case of coplanar forces, the resultant force vector and the couple's moment vector are always mutually perpendicular. And in such a situation, it is possible to have one more step of reduction to a single resultant force as shown in this figure. You can notice that the action line of the force R has been moved by an appropriate perpendicular distance D, so that its moment about point O is equal to the moment of the couple. So, MO is equal to RD and the rotational effect of this single resultant force R about point O is same as the rotational effect of the couple MO. Hence, the couple can be eliminated and we would be left with just a single resultant force. We are already familiar with these equations which could be used to determine magnitude and direction of the resultant force R. The x component of resultant R is equal to sum of x components of all the forces and the y component of the resultant force R is equal to the sum of y components of all the forces. And once we know the x and y components of the resultant force, they can be combined to determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. We also have to specify the line of action of the resultant force with respect to the reference point O. In most of the problems, you would be asked to compute the point of application of R either on x axis or y axis, where the x and y axis form a coordinate system with the reference point O as the origin. The x intercept and the y intercept can be determined using these two equations. x is equal to MO upon RY and y is equal to MO upon RX. Now that we have covered the basic theoretical aspects, let us go ahead and solve a problem. In this problem, we have a bell crank POQ which is acted upon by several forces which you can see in this diagram. We are required to find a single resultant force of these forces. As a first step, we should find the equivalent force coupled system like what you see here. the resultant force R and a couple of moment MO. We shall determine the force R from its x and y components and use the equation Rx is equal to sigma fx, which means that the x component of R would be equal to sum of x components of all the forces. The x component of this force would be equal to 500 cos 60 which is the first term on the right hand side of the equation. There is one more force of 700 Newton which points in minus x direction and hence this term. So, this equation will work out to R x equal to minus 450 Newton. Similarly, we will find the y component of R from the equation R y is equal to sigma f y. So, the y component of 500 Newton force would be equal to 500 sin 60 and it will be pointing in minus y direction. These two forces too are pointing in minus y direction. So, our equation would turn out to be minus 500 sin 60 minus 1000 minus 1200 and it would simplify to r y is equal to minus 2633 Newton. So, now we have computed both the x and y components of the resultant force R. We can combine them to get the magnitude of R using this equation. 
plugging in the values of R x and R y, we shall get R equal to 2671 Newton, which means that magnitude of this force R is 2671 Newton. Assuming theta is the angle it makes with x axis, theta is equal to tan inverse R y over R x. Plugging in the values, we get theta is equal to 80.3 degrees. So, let us redraw the figure to show the actual direction of the resultant force. So, this is the correct direction of the force R of the force coupled system. The angle it makes with x axis is equal to 80.3 degrees. We have yet to determine the moment of the couple MO. The moment of the couple MO is equal to the moment of all the forces about point O. We therefore, split the forces into their x and y components. So, as to find their moments, the horizontal component of 500 Newton force passes through O and therefore, has a zero moment about O. The vertical component of 500 Newton force is 500 sin 60 and produces anti clockwise moment about point O and its moment arm is the distance P O which is 300 mm. So, we can write the moment equation as shown here. Before summing up the moment terms, we should decide on the sign convention. Let us assume that anti clockwise rotation is positive. So, the moment of the vertical component of 500 Newton force would be positive because it is anti clockwise. This force also would produce anti clockwise moment and its moment arm would be 150 mm. So, we have the second term 1000 times 150. The 700 Newton force 2 would produce anti clockwise moment and the moment arm for this force would be the distance which is 300 sin 60 because this distance O q is 300 mm which makes an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal. Therefore, this distance is 300 sin 60 and is the moment arm for this force. So, we have the third term equal to 700 times 300 sin 60. This force of 1200 Newton produces clockwise moment about point O and its moment arm is this distance which is 150 cos 60 because this distance is 150. So, this distance would be 150 cos 60 and therefore, the last term would be minus 1200 times 150 cos 60. If you run this equation on a calculator, you will get this value for MO. The positive value means that the moment is in anti clockwise direction. So, we have been able to get magnitude and direction of the force R and the moment MO of the force coupled system. Now, we need to shift the force R so that its moment about O would be equal to MO. Since MO is in anti clockwise direction and the force R is pointing in downward direction, we have to shift the force R to the left of point O so that its moment about O is in anti clockwise direction. And therefore, if the extent to which R needs to be shifted is denoted by x, it could be computed using the equation x equal to m o upon r y. R y is 2633 Newton. So, this value divided by 2633 is equal to 141 mm. That means, the force R needs to be shifted from point O leftwards by a distance of 141 mm. So, that when its point of application is this point, its moment about O would be equal to the moment of the couple and then the couple could be eliminated. So, we are done with the solution. The magnitude of the resultant force is 2671 Newton. The angle it makes with the x axis is 80.3 degrees and its point of application is 141 millimeters to the left of point O on the body. So, I hope you found the video interesting. Thank you for watching and see you next time.